I interviewed you last year, I asked what you could choose about season two. And you said then that Scylla and Rael are endgame. And now here we are at season three. And I know you can't give it away, but in your heart, what do you feel about Scylla and Rael and uh, as them as endgame? I stand by my words. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Is, is there anything you would like to add about um, how the relationship has developed on screen and, you know, working with Taylor as well? Oh, working with Taylor? Can I talk about that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, well I've already said this. It's, it's going to start to get a little stocky and crazy, but <laughs> I will be jealous of the next person who gets to play the on-screen love interest of Taylor Hickson because it is a privilege, and I love that part. And I'm territorial about it because it's just so wonderful. It's she like the best on screen, <laughs> on screen romantic interest I've ever gone to work with. Because you, you know it's, oh yeah. Uh, so that's out there now on record. <laughs> and um, and, and the, it's so mutual though. But like the the thing that's so great about what we built is that it continues living. Like there's no. There's no finite end to it. It's like, it's bigger than than people. It's spirit. It's life and death. It's like the whole cycle of of everything. It's just something that's larger. So no one else will ever compare to what we have, baby. It's okay. <laughs> oh, come on for the baby. That did something to me. Baby, I felt that baby. <laughs> she taught me how to flirt too. Like I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, is that? I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> 